The number of rail passengers has increased rapidly over the past two decades. It was estimated that last year around 1.8 billion rail passenger journeys were made, which is a big increase, and that brings its challenges. The increases in passenger numbers brings increases in the prevalence of crowding both on trains and at stations. One of the main challenges that we have is crowd management. Here at the London Bridge, we have about 350,000 passengers passing through here and the underground station every day, so we do a lot of work to deal with that and it's important for us to, to get it right um, to prevent any accidents from happening. Overcrowding presents a range of challenges. Normally it starts with looking at what kind of delays and what kind of issues we have. At weekends, if we've got events on in London like football and all that and concerts, you'll be taking a lot of passengers up for football, rugby, and yeah, it does put an extra burden on the weekends, especially if you've got engineering works as well. The main crowding we have here at London Bridge Station is uh, on the street level concourse. Sometimes there comes to a point where we might have to close off a few entrances to the stations. A lot of customers would be quite disgruntled at that fact. They're waiting for the train, they want to be the first ones on the train, and they might be waiting for quite a significant amount of time. If there's too many people on the platform, the people that are dispatching the trains, they can't see to do their job as efficiently as they can. Overcrowding on the platform means they can't move around as easily or could cause problems with just getting on and off the train. RSSB have been out and have spoken to key experts within industry and collected a wealth of information on good practice within these areas of crowd management and have collated these and put them into a suite of crowd management guidance documents for industry. This guidance is relevant for a large station in London right through to a, a small station in rural Yorkshire for example. The guidance is aimed at anyone in an operational role who manages the flow of passengers at stations and on trains. So this could be station and event managers who manages crowds on a day-to-day -day basis. It could be train and station senior managers who create crowd management processes. Or it could be anyone in other relevant roles as well, so control staff, train planners, commercial managers. We hope that the techniques and strategies will be successful in managing passengers on trains and at stations within the UK Rail Network. What I found useful was some of the information about the good practices that they have at other stations, the things that they implement. Also what I think is quite useful is that it enables us to do our job better, to provide a safer environment for staff and a safer environment for the members of the public, our customer that we provide crowd management for.